What's up gamers? Welcome back to another Fortnite video. Yes, today I am Thanos, but we are not playing Fortnite Battle Royale. We are hopping in to save the world because it is now 2021. Last year, I did a video covering Fortnite Save the World in 2020, and uh, now we are going to see how it how it plays in 2021, how it's changed now that we're in Fortnite Season 6, and uh, I'm really excited because I actually really did enjoy Fortnite Save the World. Now, if you guys want to see some more, make sure to do me a favor hit the like button subscribe if you guys are new if you want to see some more fortnite and of course if you guys are copying anything in the fortnite item shop make sure you use code alex yt hit accept and then boom you're supporting the boy now funnily enough i just realized i'm saying i said season six earlier but it is season seven according to this chapter two season seven and they have introduced a new set that you can buy for save the world which includes this outfit which i I actually really love it's called the lock bot and uh, obviously i gotta equip it for the video um i actually really love the look i've really been liking how fortnite has been including skins and making skins that look super unique they just they don't look like the normal base skins that we're used to but uh i'm a fan i'm a fan but maybe we'll go ahead and load in to save the world with a thanos skin it's kind of amazing it's 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 pretty amazing look at this it literally look look Thanos and the Fortnite Avengers. <laughs> oh my god. Now, for those of you guys curious, a while ago, they basically announced that they were stopping development on Fortnite Save the World, which was pretty unfortunate, pretty sad. I don't remember what the last update they did was. And uh, unfortunately, I think that the new skin we just saw, the robot skin, was the last thing they've added into the game. Every single update, every single report we get. So the last one we got was June 22nd. So it's basically just announcing skins so on June 26th. Uh, we're going to get Triceratops Ramirez. And then it's just saying into the event store, you can buy the skins. Same thing. Hey, help crack shot, help a radio station, which is part of the hit the road challenge, which is a weekly challenge. That is it's, it's just they're just weekly challenges. They are releasing weapons weekly as well. I think think i think these are i think these weapons have been already in the game so they're just sort of on a cycle where they add in weapons that are in the shop uh every single week so as you can see they've already got their update set for july 3rd and it's like hey you can now get penny and it's just a little disappointing it's a little sad to see that they basically have the road map up to july 17th which is my birthday by the way um it's just skins returning to the store and challenges for the week so the development for this game has basically ended and it is it, it's, it's just a dead game sadly i know people make the joke of fortnite being a dead game which it's not fortnite save the world is literally a dead game literally just to show you guys what fortnite save the world is in 2021 this is their late latest event this is their most recent event and it is basically a scavenger one where you start off with nothing in scavenge materials to fight off the zambos so we're gonna give it a shot i'm gonna become i'm gonna be thanos of course and let's make sure i choose my hero so this is my loadout by the way for anyone curious i mean i'm not the best at this game but i did dabble in it in a little bit when it was back in its heyday all right but here we go we're starting off with the first mission let's begin oh yeah thanos looking tough he's looking tough Alrighty, so the challenges has the challenge has begun and this is fortnite save the world wow feels so weird well, first off, it feels weird because I'm I'm Thanos, but uh, oops, I'm using not a pickaxe. I'm using a weapon, um, but we've got a couple of challenges here. So I got to pick up some oil because of course I do. We got to find the Atlas target uh, and save 15 survivors. So this is just basically a normal mission, um, which if you're new to Fortnite Save the World, there were a couple of missions that they had, which was kind of the problem is that they had uh, a, a lot of missions, but they were repeated and repetitive so it's like after you played the game for a few hours you basically played the entire game which is half the reason why this game sort of failed is the way i want to say it all right we got some zambos hey fellas how's it going how you doing oh god that's how you know this weapon is bad i fr i can't even one hit these guys oh jesus yeah 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 there we go done now, the one thing I always loved about Fortnite Save the World is the addition of the hoverboard. 
they really need to bring this back especially with se the way se the season is right now they they gotta bring this back we got a little mini mission gotta save this survivor i've got you bro i've got a big old stop sign yeah essentially if you're new to save the world this was how it went you had a couple of little mini side missions little side quests to do before the main one and depending on how you play you can finish the main mission without even worrying about this one it's all dependent on how you want to play i always appreciate it all right we've got some materials time to buy a weapon uh there it is it's beautiful look at me uh oh i just accidentally used this well well it's time for us to start the actual mission here so what we need to do is place an atlas down and then we need to build around it a little little area here to protect it we need to place traps all the all the goodies that we know and love and uh, hopefully we should have enough of enough goods to protect us Alrighty, so perfect trap for a start is the flame trap which by the way was in this game before it was in the actual game uh, something I used to do a lot was kind of predict what items would be added to the actual game from Save the World. And a lot of the times it did happen. Alrighty, let's see. We're going to put another trap there, another trap there. Now we should probably put some traps on this side because we're going to have some, some boys on this side as well. So I'm thinking maybe like one right here. Maybe like one right there. Then we're like one right there. Maybe one right here, and I can do a healing station here, and then we'll do like one like, then we'll do like one here, like blocking this door. We've got our defenses placed. This is all I've got since we are, of course, playing the event technically, um, where I have to basically start from nothing. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna give the first mission a go. Let's just hit start objective. I will do normal difficulty let's go so we gotta defend this place for eight minutes should be no problem probably uh we'll see about that though okay we've got some zambos already on this side so the red dots on the top right will be our little indicator of where the zambos are they're only level three thankfully because this is the first mission so this is okay with this is okay with me now of course we've got some baddies coming in from both sides usually this game is a lot easier when you're playing with friends but i don't have any friends so yeah <laughs> but this is save the world in a nutshell even in 2021 it still plays exactly how i remember it now i'm unfortunate i'm not going to be able to sing this game's praises because it was pretty basic it was a pretty basic game I'm gonna go ahead and use my special dual wielding pistols. This is my special ability for the soldier. It is very satisfying having dual wieldies uh, that uh, it do lots of damage. Yeah, unfortunately the game is pretty, you know, I mean, you guys are seeing the gameplay now. It's, it gets pretty repetitive. And unfortunately, I think this might be the reason why it just didn't succeed, which makes me a little sad. At the same time, it's like, hey, you know what? It is what it is. It happens. It happens to the best of us. I honestly do believe if they made like a Left 4 Dead 2 type of game where you had to go from point A to point B and there were zombies blocking you, um, I think this that would have been way more successful, way more fun because you would have the aspect of Fortnite. You'd have the aspect of building in Fortnite to change up the game's pace. Um, and I think they really... They really missed out on that because they basically just made a what they instead gave us was plants versus zombies which i'm not sure a lot of people were really happy about but of course you guys can let me know what you think in the comments but uh yeah i don't know I'm a little a little, a little sad boom 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 uh, i will say though a lot of the guns in save the world were way more satisfying to use than they were in battle royale for obvious reasons because they were super overpowered righty with 39 seconds remaining i think we've got this one in the bag gonna go ahead and use my kill streak to just murder all of these guys right here use a grenade with the uh, shockwave properties and it's just it's just a bit uh it's pretty easy you know what i'm gonna say i love save the world i love what they did for us you know they brought awesome weapons traps um and you know what i think it was great at the time but nowadays it's just 
basically Plants vs. Zombies. And I don't know if I want to play Plants vs. Zombies, uh, but Fortnite Edition. I really think if they made this, like, Left 4 Dead 2 or something, this game could have... This game could have been still here, you know? Maybe weekly updates, Left 4 Dead 2 style, and we got weekly maps or something, weekly updates. It could have been something special. But yeah, guys, there you go. Even four years later, Fortnite Save the World, basically, it still plays the exact same. Unfortunately, there is no end of the line update. They're just sort of adding skins weekly. They did add in the Robo skin that I was talking about that I really love. I think it looks great, um, but that's about it. It's just a skin, and the challenges they gave you were just old challenges that, you know what, won't really change the game for you. But of course, I want to hear what you guys think. What do you think about the Fortnite Save the World? Did you enjoy it? Did you play it? Do you think they should bring it back to some capacity, update it a bit? Or do you think they should just sort of let it die? I'd love to hear what you guys think, but uh, personally, I am a little sad about it because I think it had a lot of potential, but it is what it is. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one.